Make cash, homie. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Straight Cash Homie Picks. As always, I'm your host, Jason, taking you through this week's picks against the spread. But first, let's find out what I got wrong last week. Not gonna lie, guys, rebounded to a great week two showing. But of course, I still picked the Gators at Miami. It was a horrible pick there. And for the second week in a row, I picked South Carolina, and they don't win or don't cover the spread. So, kind of a bummer there. But let's find out what I got right. Well, don't say I didn't tell you so. Washington State and BYU with the biggest upsets of week two. Both picks I had on for week two, huge upsets. But let's go on to week three. We start with UCLA headed to Nebraska. This line seems to be pretty even money on both sides at four and a half point Nebraska home favorites. I think go with Nebraska, lay the four and a half points. Then we have Tulsa at Oklahoma. Pretty big line with 26.5 point favorite Oklahoma hosting Tulsa. I think take Tulsa and take the points. Then we have Louisville at Kentucky. This is Louisville's maybe biggest matchup of the year and their only SEC opponent. I think take Kentucky and take the 12.5 points. Then we have Army hosting Stanford. Army coming off of a pretty tough loss at Ball State. They're going to be 28 and a half point underdogs at home. It's not going to matter. I think take Stanford and lay the 28 and a half points. Then we have Akron headed to the big house, Michigan. They're going to be 36 and a half point dogs on the road. I think take Akron, take the points, but then again, Michigan has burned me being a big favorite before. Then we have Nevada going to Florida State. They're going to be a 32 and a half point dog. I think take Florida State, lay the 32 and a half points. Then the most anticipated game of the week, Bama at Texas A&M. Will Nick Saban get his revenge? Will Johnny Manziel sign autographs in the stands? I think it's going to be an awesome game no matter what. Right now I see the line at 8.5, which seems pretty high. It's starting to get enticing. But I think take Bama, Nick Saban gets his revenge. Then we have Tennessee traveling to Oregon. Man, Oregon puts up a ton of points, and this line shows. Right now I have Oregon as a 25.5 point favorite. Take them. Next is Washington at Illinois. Washington's come on to be a pretty good team this year, and they're 10.5 point favorites on the road. I think take Washington and lay the points. Then we have a Mac school, Kent State traveling to the Bayou, LSU, the Tigers. That line is currently at 36.5 points, LSU being the home favorite. I think take Kent State and take the points. Then we have a pretty interesting matchup with Ohio State traveling to Cal. Right now that line's at 15 and a half points, Cal being the home favorite. I think take Cal and the points against a very tough Ohio State team. Then Vanderbilt, the Commodores, headed to SC. I've picked SC the past two weeks and they burned me. I'm not going to change now. Taking SC, laying 12 and a half points. Then we have Lamar at Oklahoma State. This is the biggest line of the week, guys, at 49 and a half points. I think lay the points, take Oklahoma State. Next up, we have Miss traveling to Texas. You know Texas is in bad shape after that BYU loss, and they're going to be three and a half point favorites. I think take Ole Miss and the three and a half points. Then we have Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, traveling to Purdue. Purdue has been struggling this year. I think Notre Dame looks to rebound off of that Michigan loss. Lay the 20 and a half points, take Notre Dame. Then we have a game I have circled on my betting slip. Western Michigan at Northwestern. 32 and a half point favorites, Northwestern a home favorite. I think take the points and Western Michigan. Last game of the week, Wisconsin traveling to Arizona State. Four and a half point favorites, home Arizona State. I think take Arizona State, lay the four and a half points. Well, there you have it, guys. Week three. Let me know what I missed and what you'd like to see in the future. And as always, happy betting. Great cash, homie.